Hey, what's up guys? This is my first video in a really long time, like a couple months I would say, but I'm back guys and I'm full of passion and I just want to start making videos again. Today's topic is actually about David and Goliath. I was reading over this passage because I'm actually going to do a, a preaching about it in a couple weeks. It just impacted me the way it connects to my life, like not only like spiritually, like, like metaphorically, and I just realized how it makes so much sense, you know, if we really connect all the dots. Let me just read a couple of verses for you guys to start off from David and Goliath. So in 1 Samuel 17, chapter 4, or I'll just make a quick reference. Okay, so like this is the time when like uh, the Philistines were fighting against the Israels. That means the, the people who didn't believe in God against the people who actually believed in God and like the people of God. And, and out of nowhere, this huge Philistine, this huge dude that was like over nine feet tall comes out of nowhere and starts threatening Israel, you know, and starts like telling them, you know, like if you guys send one warrior and if I beat him, you guys will be our slaves and, and the other way around if you guys beat me. But you know, this guy was huge. He was like buff. He was like Arnold Schwarzenegger's type, type of stuff. I, it just surprised me how one little man, as you guys already know the story most likely, David was able to say that I will go up against him. Right here in chapter 17 verse 4, it actually says, A mighty hero named Goliath from, came out of the Philistine camp. He was from Gath. He was more than 9 feet tall. He had a bronze helmet on his head. He wore a coat of bronze armor. It weighed 125 pounds. How could one man, you know, over 9 feet tall was able to do that? wear over 125 pounds of armor and you know of course the people of Israel were going to get scared you know Goliath, so here's what he did Goliath stood and shouted at the at the soldiers of Israel he said why do you come out and line up for battle I'm a Philistine you are servants of Saul come down and face me so this guy is saying you know why are you guys even lining up for battle? Because this is when they were getting in um, in war against each other. It was like, just send one man down. And if I beat him, you guys are our slaves. If you if he beats me, we're your slaves, you know, type of stuff. And then David overhears all this going on, you know, because he was he was actually the youngest of like 12, 12 guys. And um, the three oldest, his three oldest brothers were actually in war with King Saul. He, they were on his army. And so what David was doing, he was taking bread for them. You see, a little shepherd boy, you know, giving a simple job, just taking food to his brothers, you know, checking up on how they are. And, and you know, it turns out, and then he ends up, I mean, I'm going to spoil it for you guys, but you guys already know it. He ends up defeating Goliath. You know, when David hears about this, he, he challenges, he says, how dare this Philistine, you know, um, try to defy and scare the people of God, the living God, you know, this uncircumcised ungodly man scaring the people who believe in God this isn't fair so David says I'll go and fight against him because everyone like uh, during one of the verses it says when when one of the days that Goliath came out he kept on telling them over 40 days like send one of your guys and I'll beat him like during one of the days everyone got scared and everyone ran you know and David sees this and to David it's like how can the the people of the living God be afraid of someone who doesn't believe in God you know David was probably like at this time around the age of 15 and Goliath was over nine feet tall he was he's an adult you know and he's muscular of course and you know to David it was nothing because he said as long as the living God is by our side we should not be afraid you know so it gets to a point where it's David against Goliath they're facing each other because uh, because King Saul at last lets him fight and it says right here in verse 45 David said to Goliath you are coming to fight against me with a sword a spear and a javelin but I'm coming against you in the name of the Lord who rules over all he is the God of the armies of Israel he's the one you have dared to fight against so you know David isn't afraid he knows who he's by who's by his side you know, so to David, this was a type of fight that's saying, like, someone dared to fight against God, you know, let me go and beat him up, you know, pretty much. And so what happens is that, is that David ends up, like, all he does, you know, is grab a weapon that he's used to because he would usually fight against bears and lions, you know, when he's taking care of sheep. So he was using a sling. He sling, he launches a rock at Goliath's forehead and Goliath gets knocked down. You know, and what David does after that, he grabs a sword and cuts his head off. You know, so not only 
in this situation, not only did David knock him down, but he went to cut the head off the enemy. You know, and I can see how this completely, you know, refers to our lives. You know, Goliath was like the temptation, you know, the, the giants that we face every day. The temptation, you know, calling out to, to um, the army of Israel, calling out to God's people, you know, saying... Oh, I, I can beat you guys. You guys have nothing against me. You know, and he dared to, um, he dared the people of God, you know, and that's how many of us go through these situations, you know. Temptations don't just come softly. Sometimes they come like shouting at us to come and, you know, um, fight them and, you know, and that supposedly they're going to defeat us. But, you know, but David said, you know what? Why are we afraid of this huge, of this giant? You know, we have a much bigger giant who is the creator of the entire universe and we should not be afraid due to the fact that God is by our side. So then David, you know, it's like it's like when, when we see a temptation, we see a temptation that's huge shouting at us in our face, you know, and we're scared of it. We don't know what to do. We, we could fall, you know, we could sin or we could do what David did. He said, you come at me with a sword with a javelin but i come at you in the name of the lord so you know so here's what what we what many of our mistakes are when we're going up against a temptation we say oh i got this i could fight it i'm a strong man i can i can take this you know and and we end up falling because we're weak honestly like we're humans we're made out of flesh but david didn't trust in his own strength obviously he was like 15 years old you know going up against a a nine nine feet tall over like 300 pound like giant you know of course David wasn't relying on his own strength he knew what he was up against but he also knew who he had on his side so that's when like when we go up against temptations we can't think that we can just walk away from it like whatever your temptations may be you know pornography you know drugs you know um those are some pretty tough cases but but you know whatever the temptation may be looking at a, at someone in a wrong way that you shouldn't you know when it, you don't rely on your own strength always trust in god say devil you come and try to tempt me but i have the king of kings the lord the lord's on my side in the name of jesus i rebuke this temptation and i will not fall because we are children of the living god so that's how when i was reading this it just i just connected it to my like daily battles my daily struggles and i just wanted to share it with you guys so i give you guys thanks for for spending time and time flies really quick honestly like these seven minutes didn't feel like seven minutes but thank you guys for your time and i hope I, I can do more readings with you i'm gonna try to do one video a day and you know well, god bless you guys don't ever forget that all of you guys have a huge value in christ are so valuable you know and don't ever think any less of yourself all of you guys you girls are beautiful in god you guys are handsome warriors of god so don't ever forget that thank you May God bless you and may God take care of you. Goodbye, guys.